This is Tim over at Black Star Off-Road. Uh, I wanted to provide a little help for some of you that have changed your fenders to like an LED, like a Bushwhacker, a Weston, Fabtech, that are having issues with the uh, error codes on the dash. Like this one right here, we put the fenders on, you can see the turn signal's working perfect. Turn, turn signal's working perfect. All's good, but when we go on the inside, I'm gonna uh, show you some uh, error codes. I'll be right back. All right, so now we're inside the car, and this is the message that uh, sometimes you'll get when you replace your fenders with aftermarket ones. Turn signal lights out. And even though they are working in the front fine, you'll get this hyper flashing. Left, right. And if you're like me, this is just incredibly annoying. And, and I, my goal here is to show you how to get rid of this message. Okay, so in order to do this project, uh, there's a couple of things we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need the JScan app, which if you have an Apple product like me, just go to the uh, Apple store and get it. You're gonna need a Bluetooth device. This is the one I use. It's a little more expensive than some of the ones you see on Amazon. I think it was 99 bucks, but uh, I've had zero issues with it. And then you need a connector. This cable for your JL Wranglers, you can get this on Amazon. I think they're about 20, maybe 25 bucks. But you're gonna need this to bypass the uh, security gateway. Uh, now let's go ahead and move inside the vehicle and I'll show you how it works. So if you go underneath the vehicle, see right here, this is where you would plug in uh, like a scan tool. If you look above it about three, four inches, you're gonna see two plugs, which I've already unplugged them both to make this easier. One's a little uh, wider and one's a little more narrow. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your device here, you're gonna plug the narrow one into this one and the wider one into this cable and then you're gonna take your uh, Bluetooth connector here, and you're gonna plug it in right here. And that's how we're gonna be able to make uh, the modifications to the vehicle. So now that our cables are all hooked up to the vehicle, we, got, we wanna go ahead and open up the JScan app on our phone. And then go ahead and click on Wrangler JL if that's what you're working on. It's gonna bring you up to this next screen this is where we're going to link our phone with the vehicle through that OBD Link MX uh, Bluetooth adapter. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to go ahead and link with the vehicle and it's going to pull the VIN number for the vehicle like this. So this is about 19, 20 bucks. Um, if you want to go ahead and use the adaptations, you're going to have to pay for this. So go ahead and click yes. And it's going to go ahead and take you to the next screen, which gives us lots of options. You're going to want to click on adaptations. This is going to allow us to make the changes to the vehicle. On this next page, we're going to want to click on the LED lights setting, since that's what we're going to be changing. And then on this next page, we're going to want to click on LED front turn lamps present on or off so you can see that the led turn lamps are active on my vehicle so you want to go ahead and hit the drop down and deactivate it once you deactivate it you're going to get to this screen where it says great it's been successful the vehicle no longer thinks uh, you have led turn lights lamps so let's go ahead and get in the vehicle now Okay, so now that we've changed the uh, factory turn signal setting from LED 
to uh, deactivate or non-LED uh, now we've got our turn signals working properly and more importantly no more message hope this video helps some of you uh, if you got any questions go ahead and put it in the uh, in the box below and uh, I'll go ahead and try to reply um, as quickly as I can uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day